A court CCTV on February 13, 2023, captured a video of a group of prisoners in white and orange striped prison uniforms sitting on the front row in court while the court sitting progressed. However, as the court was going on with its business, one of them walked uneasily around, showing that something was up. The prisoner stood up and hastily walked directly to the window. He jumped out of the window and fell straight to the floor, taking to his heels thereafter. Reports are that he was later caught and taken to the hospital for treatment. He would still have to undergo his trial, of course. This NYPD officer was on his usual routine as he patrolled the busy roads of New York City. A routine traffic stop took place as a BMW was emitting thick black smoke clouds, creating an environmental hazard for pedestrians and fellow drivers. The officer signaled for the driver to pull over for a traffic violation. Though the driver stopped, he had other plans in mind. As the officer approached the vehicle, he expected the usual exchange between cops and drivers. What followed, however, was far from expected. The driver, seemingly unperturbed by the infringement, decided to take matters into his own hands. Instead of cooperating, he abruptly shifted gears and accelerated, catching the cop completely off guard. The officer was hit by the fleeing vehicle. As the car drove off, the police stood up and attempted to give the car a chase, along with other NYPD officers present at the scene. Yo, y'all just saw that live, son! Y'all just saw that live! The perpetrator's car, however, weaved through traffic at an elusive speed. The cops gave up on the chase eventually and gathered to discuss what just happened. At the Oklahoma County Courthouse in Oklahoma City, a 30-year-old man known as David Knight was to appear at the courthouse for a hearing. Slipping out of the courtroom, his exit was perfectly timed as he got to the elevator, just as the doors were opening. On the ground floor, Knight quickly assessed the situation and decided to make a break for it, attempting to evade capture. Seen here in the brown jacket about to enter the courtroom is David Knight. The 30 year old's in court today for a hearing regarding drug possession charges. But he still had to pass through one last officer who was ready for him and took off after him. On the ground floor, Knight steps out of the elevator, gets his bearings, then with the officer chasing hotly after him, Knight burst through the exit and out onto the street. It's a flat-out foot race for freedom. It looks like he might slip out under the radar. But now comes the toughest part, getting past the last security checkpoint and this deputy. However, the deputy, in a swift and dramatic moment, brought Knight down with a tackle on the street, surrounded by curious onlookers. The deputy, who, just out of the camera's view, catches Knight and brings him down with a tackle in front of some curious bystanders. In this video, captured on a highway, a man frantically ran across the road, almost disregarding the vehicles. It was clear that he was fleeing from something. Several police officers were seen standing by the road with some German shepherd dogs. 
Some were busy and others were on guard. One of the cops went to the back of a vehicle, and in it was an empty seat. The prisoner they were escorting had bolted. It turned out that the man from earlier was a prisoner who had escaped. During a routine traffic stop, a police officer gestured for the driver to turn off his car engine. However, the driver declined to follow their instructions. To the officer's surprise, the driver swiftly drove away, catching all the cops off guard as they reached for the car door and held it for a second. The officers were initially at ease due to the presence of surrounding police cars, but they suddenly found themselves in a complex situation. The driver, determined to evade the police, continued his rounds, leaving a trail of damaged car parts, including a battered hood. He couldn't care less about the growing damage to his car as he persisted until he found an exit route. With a sudden burst of speed, he executed a calculated escape, weaving through other vehicles and disappearing from the officer's sight. A police officer pulled over a driver during a routine traffic stop. But this driver wasn't the obedient kind, as instead of cooperating, the driver surprised everyone by making a run for it around the car. He tried to dodge the officer at every turn, weaving through like a slippery fish, causing the officer a big headache. As the officer closed in, the unexpected happened. Realizing he was trapped, the driver decided to face off with the officer. They threw punches, turning the area into an arena. Amidst the chaos, another driver tried to intervene, attempting to break up the fight. Seizing the opportunity, the perpetrator managed to slip away. Rushing back to his car in a daring move, he sped off, narrowly avoiding the police officer who had bravely tried to stop him. This man, Tarek Arnold, with his hands cuffed behind him, made a daring escape from NYPD officers in Harlem. The dramatic scene unfolds as surveillance cameras capture Arnold, bound in handcuffs, running down West 135th Street with two detectives in pursuit. As he bolted down West 135th Street, his hands bound in handcuffs as he ran, two detectives behind him trying to catch up. This afternoon, the... Despite the attempted manhunt, Arnold managed to evade the police creating a tense situation for onlookers and law enforcement alike. Her suspect still managing to evade police. It's like nerve-wracking, because you don't know what he may do. They're just praying and hoping things... Police say they were taking him to a waiting vehicle when Arnold made his move, running west on West 135th Street toward Frederick Douglass Boulevard. No, nothing else won't happen. An overnight manhunt and searches so far today, yielding no signs of the 23-year-old. The escaped prisoner on the run since around 7.30. Despite the efforts to locate him, Arnold, charged with attempted murder, remains at large, presenting a potential threat given his prior arrests and history of violent felonies. 
Thursday night when investigators say he shoved one of the two officers escorting him out of the 32nd Precinct Station House in Harlem. Police say they were taking him to a waiting vehicle when Arnold made his move running west on West 135th Street toward Frederick Douglass Boulevard. Cops were waiting for this motorcyclist who skillfully maneuvered through various routes, accelerating at top speed to evade law enforcement. The scene unfolded as a high-stakes chase, with the agile rider deftly navigating the surroundings to avoid capture. Despite the efforts of law enforcement, the motorcycle sped away, leaving the pursuing officers behind in the pursuit of a swift and elusive escape. These officers messed with the wrong criminal. During the pursuit, the suspect pulled off a bold move, skillfully eluding police custody. The suspect seemed too experienced as he deftly maneuvered through the building. The chase intensified as the suspect demonstrated an intricate knowledge of the surroundings, slipping away from the grasp of the pursuing officers and flying down the stairs, In a rather daring attempt to capture the slippery suspect, a police officer jumped over the railings, landing painfully on his back during their chase on a staircase. The, the impact left the officer injured and he was momentarily unable to move. Another officer had to come to his aid as he was grappling to regain control, while the suspect exploited every opportunity to continue the escape. A brutal video from the Arizona Department of Corrections prison is being shown. This incident happened at 9.55 in the morning on November 3, 2020. An officer was checking the cell, and two convicts walked up to him. It's November 3rd, 2020, and you're looking at a pod inside the Tucson prison at 9.55 in the morning. A lone officer checking a cell. One held the guard from behind as the other rained on him with his fist. Another prisoner was seen just walking away as if nothing was going on. Some seconds later, the officer was able to free himself, reached out for his pepper spray, and began shooting. The criminals scattered to the first floor as they watched the officer walk away from above. After spraying the inmates, the officer, still alone, and inmates begin to attack him again. Punches, kicks, stomps. After a few minutes of spraying, the inmates attacked the guard again, more furious this time as they threw more fists and kicks at the warden. When the officer managed to free himself and go for an escape, the prisoners caught on to him and slammed him on the floor. One prisoner seemed to even hurt his foot while kicking the guard. I mean, he's just, I mean, he's, at that point, he's just at their mercy. The inmates get tired and actually take a short break. As the officer gets to the stairs, there, the inmate... After a short while, the convict decided to stop for a bit and free the officer. As he managed to reach the stairs, they went after him again, kicking very aggressively. One prisoner was even spraying him with the pepper spray he held before, and they finally set him free as he walked up the stairs. This unit, you've got an assault going on. They're already short. Three people show up, God bless them. But what you should have was at least eight people running in here. There are some people that cops should just not mess with to avoid humiliation, like the driver of this car pursued by police. They tried to pull him over, but the driver did not cooperate. After a moment of high-speed chase, the police car surrounded the car, leaving the driver with no escape route. Initially seemingly trapped, the driver may have had a headache trying to dodge three police cars. Every move by the driver was blocked by the police cars, and it seemed like there was no hope for the driver anymore. Oh, my God.
However, as seconds ticked away, the driver showed his experience as he skillfully maneuvered through the encircling police cars, creating a path of escape. It was a moment of unexpected finesse. The driver behind the wheel swiftly outwitted the officers, leaving them momentarily perplexed and probably humiliated to have lost their target despite their numbers. CCTV cameras from different angles were focused on a black SUV that was used to transport a suspect to jail. The SUV came to a halt as the driver was paying for something. That moment turned out to be the opportunity that the suspect was looking for, as in a fluid move, he opened the car door and fled into the distance. Realizing what had happened, the driver moved the car, got out, and followed after the suspect. Just minutes after being sentenced to five months in prison, a teenager made a daring escape from a courtroom. The shocking incident was caught on a surveillance camera. The gripping video footage captures the dramatic escape as one man pressed the button in a hallway of Bradford Crown Court causing a previously locked door to swing open, granting the teenager a path out of the courthouse. The teenager ran out and into the street, causing the officers to halt their chase as they knew there was no way of catching him. CCTV captured this video in an Indian police station in 2018. It was a regular day at the office for the cops as they attended to their duties. Two individuals seized the opportune moment, swiftly evading the grasp of the law. With a burst of agility, they took off, deftly navigating their surroundings, leaving the pursuing officers momentarily baffled. Although the cops immediately took off after them, it was futile as the men escaped into the streets and vanished. This skilled guy is rather bold, and the cops shouldn't have messed with him. When the police tried to catch up with him, he zoomed through the streets on his rollerblades, moving quickly to escape. He was like a smooth glider, and the officers couldn't keep up with him, he successfully escaped amidst the cheers of onlookers. This court cam captured this unbelievable moment as a man took a daring leap from a balcony at the Franklin County Courthouse after a sentencing hearing. The abrupt action left everyone in the vicinity astonished. The police officers present at the scene could hardly believe their eyes. Realizing that they couldn't make the same leap, they opted for an alternative approach, choosing to pursue him through the more conventional means of the stairwells.
This officer is occupied at the back of the vehicle. Seizing the opportunity, the girl who was handcuffed managed to escape from police custody by stealthily reaching for the door handle of the police car. With a bit of luck, she successfully opened the door without alerting the officer. Swiftly descending from the car, the girl wasted no time and sprinted away as fast as she could. Her sudden escape caught the police officer off guard, leaving her unaware of her actions until it was too late. In what looks like a normal courtroom scenario, inmates proceed to exit under the vigilant gaze of armed guards. Everything seems to be going normally until something extraordinary happens. Normal day in court, inmates leave the room with armed guards. According to the timestamp, less than a minute later, the escape is on. Another inmate, Gerald Hyde, defies expectations, slipping away from the guards and executing a swift escape from the now deserted courtroom. Gerald Hyde II somehow gets away from the guards and runs out of the empty courtroom. Before leaving, however, through quick thinking, Hyde takes off his shirt, hiding the handcuffs still fastened around his wrists. Before he leaves, he takes off his shirt to cover the handcuffs still on his wrists. He navigates the hallways of the Justice Center, but reports are that despite a brief taste of freedom, Hyde's escape was short-lived as law enforcement swiftly recaptured him after a short while. Leaving his orange jail-issued shoes behind, he then runs outside through the front doors barefoot alongside everyday people. In this residential area, two Seattle police cars strategically cornered a fleeing suspect in a white sedan, deploying a coordinated effort to apprehend the elusive driver. Cornered, the driver could only drive in reverse, but even then he skillfully evaded both cruisers, intensifying the pursuit. The officers didn't give up. They persisted in their chase of the white vehicle, determined to bring the fleeing suspect to justice. They chased him through different neighborhoods. However, as the pursuit unfolded, the suspect managed to elude visual contact, leaving the officers momentarily without a clear line of sight, but they kept the chase on. Notwithstanding the fact that two police cars were after him, he successfully escaped from their grasp despite the initial maneuver. This suspect was being escorted to a court hearing at Fairfield Court, but he made a bold attempt to escape. As the police officer struggled to apprehend him, Another officer joined the chase to capture the fleeing criminal. One of the officers seized the suspect by the other end of the chain used to tie his neck, intending to prevent his escape. Still, even with this attempt to restrain him, the suspect skillfully slipped away, evading capture. This dramatic scene unfolded in an Oregon courthouse as surveillance video captured a murder suspect, Eddie Villalobos Jr., sprinting away from officers after being unshackled in court, a mandatory procedure under state law.
He was expected to attend the commencement of his trial in court, but he had other plans in mind, though he appeared calm as the police proceeded to free him from chains. However, after being unshackled, Villalobos seized the opportunity, bolting for the door and leaving everyone in a daze. People made way for him as he zoomed down the hallway, running through different corridors and finally making a swift escape through an employee-only exit. At the Meigs County Courthouse in Decatur, Tennessee, a family court case turned into something else when 33-year-old Rashad Hawkins, recently sentenced to jail for failing to pay child support, decided to make a daring escape. Taken into custody, he dips out of the second floor courtroom. After being sentenced, Hawkins fled the courtroom, decided to take a quicker route, hurdled himself over the second floor balcony, and landed on an unsuspecting OK below. Drops by the reception desk, then makes his way to the exit. The officer who chased after him couldn't follow, and before long, other cops gathered around, stunned. For 20 days, he evaded capture as a wanted man until he was arrested 200 miles away following a trespassing complaint and scuffle with police. This suspect, named Lucas, was locked in the car trunk, and the moment he descended from the police vehicle, the suspect was being led by someone turning to the right, and Lucas was already looking to the left, seeing where he would escape. Tudo isso de acordo com a polícia militar durante uma luta corporal envolvendo esses policiais e o Lucas Castanhari dos Santos, 25 anos. Esse aí... He fled with both hands behind him. We can see in this footage that, until that moment, he had not managed to get rid of the handcuffs. This video, captured by eyewitnesses, shows the epic chase of an escapee. The prisoner had escaped from prison and still dressed in the signature orange prison uniform, he raced past several cars and shops. The people filming the chase were cheering for this prisoner, who paid them no mind and continued running to his freedom. One cop was panting heavily while chasing after the escapee. It seemed the prisoner had made up his mind to escape because he showed no sign of stopping. He just broke it! <laughs> Y'all! He said, not today! Come on! 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 He jumped over a low fence and moments later, the officer got to the fence, panting. But the decisive prisoner had already escaped into oblivion. In a daring escape on the highway, a suspect managed to break free from police custody, sprinting as fast as he could amidst speeding vehicles. Despite the efforts of the pursuing police officer, the agile suspect skillfully avoided capture, maintaining a rapid pace that outpaced their attempts to catch up. A court sentencing in Rochester Hills turned into a chase when a man from Pontiac was sentenced to 90 days in jail. The deputy was nowhere to be found, and seizing the opportunity, the man made a run for it. Time of opportunity. A Pontiac man gets sentenced and notices for just a moment there, there, is, there isn't anyone there to take him to jail. As the court deputy entered the courtroom, the guy spotted the deputy and quickly walked towards the exit. The defendant sprinted across the street. There's a judge, a defendant, his attorney, but someone's missing, the court deputy. And this defendant was just sentenced to 90 days in jail. And as the deputy walked in the courtroom, the guy spotted the deputy, and it was off to the races. Outside the courthouse, watch the right... Although reports are that officers managed to apprehend him in a wooded area, the sheriff emphasized the potential dangers of such situations, highlighting concerns for the safety of officers and the need for proper protocols. 
trouble with their own weapon if they lose a fight. Those are the kind of concerns that we have. An unarmed person isn't the same thing as not dangerous. In this video, police officers were stunned as they witnessed a driver disregarding them. They signaled a car to pull over, expecting a routine traffic stop. However, the driver inside had no intention to cooperate, and as an officer approached, requesting the driver to open the car door and step out, things took a turn for the worse. The driver swiftly maneuvered his car in a different direction, defying the officer's instructions. The tension escalated as the police, taken by surprise, struggled to react to the unexpected action. Another police car rammed into the driver's car. However, the driver, determined to avoid the impending confrontation, chose to drive off, leaving the officers too confused to even chase after him. A criminal slated to appear in a magistrate court managed to escape right in front of a police officer. He claimed over the fence, leaving the officer both confused and surprised. And before long, he was on the other side of the fence, making his escape. Of a police woman who failed to stop the criminal to escape. These are the people that... In the video, an inmate from the new Albany County Jail in Mississippi was being escorted to the courtroom by officers. The prisoner's hand was cuffed and tied around his wrists. What's up? The prisoner yelled at the guards in front of him and angrily headbutted one of them. The officers responded quickly as they fired back, immediately carrying him out of the room. In a daring escape, a motorcyclist skillfully maneuvered through traffic, accelerating rapidly to evade law enforcement. The rider initially slowed down, luring one of the officers on patrol to make a move. However, with swift reflexes, the motorcyclist bent his head and accelerated, eluding the officer's attempt to grab him. It looked like he was just toying with them. This 21-year-old man named Joseph King in Brooklyn managed to escape police custody while being transported to central booking. The incident unfolded as officers were in the process of taking King into custody. But no, one knows how he freed his hands from the handcuffs before taking to his heels and fleeing the scene. Here, a rather hilarious escape of a prisoner was captured. The video shows police officers looking frantically for a prisoner around a vehicle. Unbeknownst to them, the prisoner they were looking for was lying flat on top of the vehicle without moving an inch or causing the slightest disturbance. The officers looked around the vehicle with one of them flashing a light and looking beneath the vehicle, yet there was no sign of the prisoner. He stayed motionless in the vehicle and the ignorant officers eventually drove off. As seen in this video, a white police vehicle approached a building and stopped in front of it. Police officers in blue began to come out followed by a man in a black suit. The prisoner followed the black-suited man out, but just then, he bolted to the right, pushing the officer who was blocking his way and running to the side of the building. The law enforcement agents gave him a short chase, but when they realized he was too fast, they pulled out their pistols and started firing. The prisoner ran in a zigzag motion to avoid the bullets, then ran on. One of the police officers followed him in the hope of finding him. Good luck with that. A murder suspect, Dwayne Chain, was in court for his trial. 
he was allowed to roam freely in the court with a GPS tracker attached to his ankle. The court surveillance camera captured a video of him walking calmly down the hallway. On the other side of the hallway, his girlfriend was also calmly walking about. The video showed Chain and his dad casually walking past the cops, who paid no attention to them. After a while, Chain and his dad casually strutted out of the court like they were taking a stroll. Shortly after, his girlfriend jogged out of the place as well. Once outside, he took off his jacket. A van, driven by his mother, pulled up on the road and three of them got in. The vehicle sped off, with Chain throwing out his GPS tracker. He was later recaptured and sentenced. CCTV footage captured a rather shocking scene at a police station. Prisoners had been brought out of their cells for a quick trial, with cops guarding the place. But not all the prisoners were calm. Right under the noses of the cops, one prisoner decided to run for his freedom. He made a break for it. When he got to the door, the officers pounced on him but couldn't stop him. He fled the place, with cops chasing behind him. Seeing the success of his co-prisoner, another detainee bolted towards the door. The single cop there could not stop him at all as he made it through. This was the beginning of an epic chase as one of the cops got on his bike to follow them. The other one was left to guard the remaining prisoners. While all that happened, the other prisoners sat quietly, with no one attempting to escape. Well, the doors had been locked anyway, 